Um, when, when it comes to the, the ecosystem of decentralized finance, there, there are various key participants and market players, uh, mostly emulating the same participants we have in, in traditional finance. So brokers, market makers, exchanges, custodians, and then those on two different playing fields. We have the centralized finance applications and platforms, such as Celsius, which unfortunately recently went bankrupt, um, and also decentralized finance applications, such as non-custodial wallets, uh, like Metamask, uh, and uh, lending and borrowing platforms, like Aave and Compound. Now, I think these both have pros and cons, and are both very important to the ecosystem. Uh, in terms of importance, CFI is important because it bridges the gap. So if you want to access decentralized finance, you first need to access a centralized uh, platform in order to purchase crypto in the first place. So in terms of bridging the gap, I think centralized finance applications have a very uh, important role to play. Uh, in terms of pros and cons, um, when it comes to decentralized finance uh, lending and borrowing platforms, these have proved to actually be more reliable than centralized borrowing and lending platforms. So Celsius is a very famous recent event of a centralized lending platform which recently went bankrupt. Uh, interestingly enough, Celsius first had to pay off its DeFi debts before paying off other creditors. Uh, and this is because uh, it had no choice. Basically, uh, the DeFi loans were locked up in smart contracts, and if it didn't pay its loans, it would lose all its collateral. So in terms of reliability, DeFi is actually quite, uh, you know, is, is the winner. Um, having said that, there are uh, other negative connotations which the, the market and the industry is working on um, and addressing specifically when it comes to hacks and vulnerability in the code. So obviously the industry is very, very aware um, of what is going on. Everyone is trying to develop um, and, and um, uh, reach solutions quickly, specifically when it comes to bridging uh, between different types of blockchain. Um, and in the, in the process of this, there are vulnerabilities in the code. So I think it's just a matter of time until the industry does solve these issues. And when it does, I think the DeFi will be, will be truly unstoppable. However, I don't think it should be one versus the other. So just centralized, just DeFi, just CBDCs, you know, CBTCs over stable coins. I think that it is very healthy for the market to be able to choose if they want to trust central bank digital coins, if they want to trust stable coin issuers, once of course they are fully regulated and the market is in fact uh, primarily dealing with regulating centralized platforms such as Celsius which went down and stable coin issuers due to the risks that they present um, in terms of underlying assets when pegged to real life assets However, in the future, once the necessary players are well regulated, I think it is unhealthy to restrict or eliminate uh, crypto assets or stable coins just because they present themselves as a threat or competition and that we should really um, advocate for the free open markets and move away from the monopoly of money.